Hey, Mark Oskowitz here from Tri Ghibli Farm. Um, doing a little mushroom growing in the backyard. Um, I've got a hillside here below my fire pit below the house. We've got quite a slope here. Um, so instead of digging trenches to bury these logs, I'm, I'm setting them, you know, kind of in like little terraces and using gravity, you know, to, to help pull the next layer of soil on top of them. So hopefully they'll, they'll also hold the soil in while also getting buried and then, um, and then producing mushrooms. Um, so we have chicken of the woods and hen of the woods. These are the bags with chicken of the woods in them. And we definitely have some that the inoculation didn't go so well. Um, but then all these other bags that are just white with fungal mycelium, um, you know, about a dozen of these, they've done pretty darn well. And so, you know, just opening it up and looking at this. Yep. I mean, it smells like mushrooms. It's awesome. Um, so, so mixed success, all right? These logs, they're likely, um, since they're fully colonized, they're likely to fruit. Those other ones, uh, they're more of an experiment. What I'm also hoping happening happens is that by placing them close together, maybe they'll join up um, and maybe fruit all together. So, yeah, yeah, so a fun little, fun little experiment. These have been sitting since I think last July, um, I've got a picture of where they've been sitting in, in a, on a shelf in, in my uh, workshop, um, or in one of the side bays of my workshop. Um, so I had them sitting sitting just up, up actually, just go up the hill. There we go, just, just up on the shelf. Um, and so this whole shelf was filled with them. These are the hen of the woods up here and then I ran out of room and I got some stored down there. Uh, so I got chicken of the woods and hen of the woods. Chicken of the woods, which I'm doing first, they only have to be um, kind of partially buried with the tops exposed. And the hen of the woods will be completely buried with a couple inches of soil over them. Yeah, so this is kind of like the before setup. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so with inoculating these, it was just by using like these little collars and they had a, a foam plug on the inside. Let's see, which some of them held in pretty well. There, it was like a little foam plug. So you bought the, I bought the bags, cut the logs to the right size to fit within the bags so you could still get the collars on and um, and, bef and really, the logs were cut and soaked, and soaked in water, just to give them moisture. And then a handful of spawn was put on the top, and kind of, I picked the whole bag up and shook it all around so that the spawn would kind of coat the whole outside. But definitely, a, a, a bunch of spawn ended up being at the bottom of the bag and on top of the log, um, as you just kind of shook it around. Yeah, and then it was just, it's just a big waiting game. It was an experiment to see I mean, like, look at this. That's just awesome. An experiment to see how well, how well they would do if just left alone, not in the house, but outdoors as the temperature, like outdoors in the summer, hit those summer temperatures. And then in the winter went to, you know, freezing, of course. Um, and I'm, I'm just pleasantly surprised. So the, the spawn run was successful. It was definitely like, yeah, I mean, when we look at it, it's definitely more than six run months of a spawn run. Um, but yeah, now it's spring and time to get them in the ground. All right.